Hello, my name is Billy Cronin. I am Head of Supply Chain with Dairy Gold Co-op. Over the next number of weeks, Dairy Gold, in conjunction with the AHI Celtic, will present a series of short videos on how to improve mastitis control and reduce SEC levels across your herd. There are clear benefits for you, the milk supplier, for the dairy industry and for the consumer to improving mastitis control and reducing somatic cell count levels in the dairy herd. For you, the milk supplier, a low SEC herd produces more milk than a herd with high SEC, where the optimum herd SEC is 100,000. In addition, you don't have the associated costs such as veterinary, culling, loss of milk production. Therefore, a low SEC will give you a greater profit. If your SEC is reduced by 100,000, you could increase your annual profit by up to 39 euro per cow. The benefits for the dairy industry. Significant progress has already been made. The national average SEC in 2019 was 176,000, a reduction of almost 100,000 over the last decade. Lower SEC improves casing and cheese production yields and extends shelf life. The benefits to the consumer are also many. Consumer expectations of food quality and production standards are ever increasing. The quality of the finished product is dependent on the quality of milk that leaves the farm. There is no retrofix. So now, let us look at how we can best control mastitis and reduce SEC. Milk recording is a very important tool in identifying high SEC cows and this allows one to make informed decisions in relation to breeding and culling. You've often heard it said that if we don't measure, we can't manage. But I will go one step further and state we must manage or be measured. In other words, we must milk record and make full use of the data to improve milk quality and reduce costs. There is no silver bullet in controlling mastitis and reducing SEC. It's about being brilliant at the basics. Milk and machine maintenance, wearing of gloves, teeth spraying, good housekeeping, culling of cows that show persistently high SEC levels, to name but a few. Over the next seven weeks, Dairy Gold, along with AHI, are producing a series of videos to assist in mastitis control and the reduction in SEC levels. These videos will focus on some of the most important practices that farmers can adopt, which are proven to help us manage and prevent mastitis. For more information and support, talk to your local milk advisor, get a copy of the Celcheck Farm Guidelines for Mastitis Control, and watch out for these videos. Thank you for listening.